is the Dean of Travel, Dean Jacobs, reporting to you about the Basate Pen and Paper Project in Rwanda. Situated in the heart of Africa, in the country of Rwanda, up on the edge of the Volcanoes National Park is the village of Basate. The National Park is home to the famous mountain gorillas. Tourists come from all over the world paying $500 to visit the gorillas in the wild for an hour. Now the average income for a family in Rwanda is $2.50 a day. On top of that, most things are imported to Rwanda, making many of the basic material needs expensive. The village of Basate's primary school educates 1,700 students. The school has no running water and no electricity, just committed students, teachers, and parents. Now, while on a photo project for the Dian Fossey Gorilla Fund, for their educational outreach, I met a young girl sitting in the classroom holding a crumpled up piece of paper in her hand. That piece of paper served as her notebook, and my heart sank. You see, the students are not allowed to attend school without a notebook and a pen. All families are responsible for providing school materials for their children. This is a hardship since the average income per family in Rwanda is only $2.50 a day. Determined that poverty should never be an obstacle for young people obtaining an education, I asked for assistance before I left Rwanda to help acquire notebooks and pens for each of the students at the Basate Village School. Students and schools and individuals responded from all over the United States. Within a one month period, we were able to generate approximately $5,000 to buy notebooks and pens for every student in the school for this year and for the next school year. The generosity and the kindness of people's hearts was truly overwhelming. Classroom by classroom, young children walked single file across the grass-covered playground as they followed their teacher and schoolmaster to the door of a vacant room. Some wore shoes, others were shoeless with dirty bare feet, toughened by the hard, cold environment in which they live. And I spent an entire morning handing out pens and notebooks to each student. Each was received with wide eyes and large smiles. It was one of the highest points of my Rwandan experience. Afterwards, I went into each classroom to explain the gift. These are a gift from the Karasoki Research Center of the Fossey Organization and Friends in America, I explained, because we know you are smart and we want to give you every opportunity to learn and to grow. I would then ask them a question, do you study hard? The uniform answer was always, yes, Mr. Jacobs. This is a thank you to all who supported this project. Will it create world peace? Probably not. But for a day or two, it reduced a little suffering in the lives of the people who have already suffered much. And that is a worthwhile goal. I'll let you decide for yourself by the reaction of these students if you feel this is a worthy goal. May it serve as a reminder of the simple truth that one person truly can make a positive difference. This is Dean Jacobs reminding you to check your compass because you never know where you might go with the Dean of Travel. To learn more about the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund organization, visit their website, gorillafund.org. That's www.gorillafund.org.